Championships, the Brazilians outstanding. Egypt, a force coming forward, but defensively at times a bit inadequate, and that's not what you want against the Brazilians. No, it certainly isn't, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this Egyptian side. Obviously, they're very big improvers. I haven't seen them yet, but uh, Brazil are quite outstanding. Any match involving the world champions is something to look forward to, and this should be wonderful once again. You mentioned the support. There is plenty of support for the Brazilians, not just from the Brazilians themselves, but from all futsal fans. Everyone loves to see them. And, of course, their last outing, 29-2. I'm not sure that would have pleased everyone here in Guatemala City because it was over the host nation but nonetheless it just once again demonstrated the outstanding qualities of this side and some of the people around the stadium after that win when uh, Brazil beat Guatemala by 29 goals to two uh, suggesting maybe that the Brazilians should have backed off a little bit showed a bit more respect but it was a warning to the rest of the tournament really that Brazil mean business their top player, Manuel Tobias, number five there. Nine goals he scored of the 45 Brazil have managed so far. Egypt are a very useful side, quick and direct coming forward, but they aren't helped here by the fact that Mohamed Abdelhamid is injured. Watch out though for Saeed Abdel Qadir, who's got four goals in the tournament so far. I spoke about Egypt being big improvers. This will give us an indication as to how much they've improved. They were at the World Championships in 1996, but they performed without success. Yet, I think they've surprised a few people, but playing in the first phase and then meeting the World Champions, the three times World Champions at that, will be the biggest test they have ever faced. Vander, the Brazilian coach, skipper of the winning side back in 96 and 92 and 89 for that matter. Three times a winner as captain and player, now in charge for the first time as coach. Here, Matt Mohamed Solomon Hag is the Egyptian coach. We're all set to get underway. Brazil in those familiar yellow shirts and blue shorts will attack from left to right. It's Groupie and we're underway and it's Manuel Tobias on the ball. Terrific noise around the stadium already. Schumacher in possession, Manuel Tobias just ahead of him. Here comes Schumacher, just over around the ball. It was a great moment of anticipation and excitement there. Schumacher, one of the defensive players who's been able to get forward and score his share of goals already in this tournament. Poor throw out there by Eamon Nassif, who started the competition as second choice for Egypt. Drums already banging out the samba beat. Mahmoud Mohamed, who's looked very good on the ball in the games that we've seen here in El Domo so far. There he is, Manuel Tobias. He earns a quarter of a million dollars a year from playing futsal. Great balance, great poise, great vision. Can anybody get the ball off him? Oh, audacious there from Manuel Tobias. Well, what a goal that would have been. What a link up there between Manuel Tobias and Lanicio. And a player capable of doing something that most players can only manage in the last minute of a game. And that's nutmeg, Yusuf Mohamed. Well, that was so cheeky. And here come Brazil again. Fernino, who was in the team in 92 and 96. Vinicio trying to wriggle clear. Vinicio was given the opportunity to, to switch to outdoor soccer when someone spotted him. He decided, though, to stay indoor. He was the top scorer in the, the Brazilian Liga last season. Clever play there by Mahmoud Mohamed, who we've already picked out for you. Been very impressive in the, the early stages of the tournament. One goal against Thailand so far, but great skill and great close control when he's got the ball. A bit disappointed that Brazilian haven't gotten on the score sheet yet. 
He scored after just 35 seconds of their opening game against Kazakhstan. They were goalless at half-time against Portugal, but then they upped the tempo yet again and ended up winning 4-0. Manuel Tobias. Fininho. That was a sharp shot, really stung the fingers of Ayman Nazif. Back there is Manuel Tobias. What a surging run forward by Tobias. Lenicio. Just able to scoop the ball out towards Schumacher. Ball is out for kicking here to Egypt. That was the earlier effort which uh, really stung the keeper's fingers. So important here that Egypt keep possession. So important that they try to dictate the pace of the game. The Brazilians relentless when they've got the ball. They, they create so much space for each other. There's such good movement, there's such power in the side. It's not just about the skill on the ball and the trickery and the dribbles which really highlights their play. Important block there by Arafat Saeed getting in the way of the shot from Schumacher, who was a very solid customer in defence for Brazil. All the way back to La Boissia, just to make sure that the Brazilian goalkeeper is on his toes. He's, he's made a few good saves in this tournament, but of course, generally, he's been inactive. Manuel Tobias, now Fininho. Lenicio also ahead of him, still with Fininho, taken wide, how on earth did he keep that ball in play? Well, he seemed to be slipping out of the court, but he, he still managed to regain his balance, and now to pick out Lenicio, oh, wonderful goal! What a finish that was from Lenicio, and what a start for Brazil! They're on their way! What a great turn and what a finish that was. Well, the first goal has come in the third minute and you fancy it's the first of quite a few today. Lenicio, what a goal that was. That's goal number 46 for the tournament for Brazil. Now, at the last World Championships, when again they were successful, they scored 55 goals in the tournament. And that was in, what, some eight seven games. matches, eight games. Eight and they've scored 46 now at the start of their fourth. And here's Lenicio once more, now Manuel Tobias. Lenicio making the angle for him. Manuel Tobias got the chance to shoot. Manuel Tobias! Oh, great save! Nassif down quickly to get his hand on the ball, but the goalkeeper is in trouble here. Has he been caught in the face? Well, Tobias there just twisting and turning and uh, getting beyond Atia. And that was a smart stop by Nassif. It promises to be. A busy afternoon for Nassif, the Nisio on target for Brazil already. The three times world champions leading by one goal to nil. And what a fabulous finish this was. He just set himself up so well and there was so much power in that shot. I mean, there was no backlift at all. Really hammered it beyond the keeper. Such skill. When you speak about the, the goal-scoring ability of this side, you've just run through the list there. Anderson scored four goals from... Two scoring attempts, uh, Tobias has scored nine, Fenijo scored uh, five, Almir one, Schumacher five, Endure four, Lenicio now six, Falcao four, Vanda six. My word, how can any team match that? Sorry, I'm just going to interrupt you. It looks as though uh, Egypt might have to make a substitution because Ayman Nassif is looking rather groggy and he's about to be replaced by Yasser Mohamed, who was sent off against the Netherlands. He was in the, the squad back in 1996. And it may be that uh, Ayman Nassif has got a bit of blurred vision there. He looks a bit shaky. But Brazil have the corner. Yusuf Mohamed now for Egypt. Incisive break by Egypt, who, who do attack with great passion do like to get forward quickly but they've got to defend here Schumacher with a shot for Nino oh they've done it again oh and didn't he enjoy that what a goal by for Nino oh the floodgates have opened we've had two already for Nino who scored five against Guatemala 
has now found the target against Egypt. What a goal that was, and what an introduction for the new goalkeeper for Egypt. He is in for a tough afternoon. It's Brazil 2, Egypt 0. The goals coming in the third and the fourth minutes, Lodicio and then Fininho. And one wonders just how many goals there will be. It's been a fine performance by Egypt to get this far. Against the Netherlands, they were beaten by only two goals, 5-3. They defeated Thailand convincingly, 7-0. And then that impressive performance against Uruguay. They beat them 4-2. And Egypt having called their time out less than three and a half minutes into the game. One time out per team per half. And repair work necessary now for Egypt. How will they stem the flow? First job of Yasser Mohamed, who's come on as a substitute for the, the injured Ayman Nassif, is to, to pick the ball out of the back of his net. Vicious shot from Fernino. Work by the player on the ball there, who's uh, Abdul Qadir, who's impressed in these championships. But here's Manuel Tabir's three against one. Oh, back of the post. And here come Egypt. They pulled one back. Now we've got a game on. Sabra Abdu has pulled the goal back for Egypt. Manuel Tabir's with a shot against the post and an incisive break forward by Egypt. We said they were good in possession, they've been denied possession, but once they had possession, they got forward quickly. And that was a clever finish by Abdu. Well, they do look good when they go forward. As you mentioned at the start, defending is their problem, but when they go forward, they are on the very fast break, and Brazil are going to have to watch this counter-attack. Meanwhile, there are some problems in the Egyptian goal. Yes, worryingly, it's uh, Abdel Qadir who we picked out of the start as being one of their star performers in these championships. He thundered into the goalpost when he got back to cover the run made by Manuel Tobias into the into the goal area. Tobias denied with a, the shot that came back off the post. And Egypt to go forward and to pull a goal back. Now, they need to keep their discipline. They don't want to get too adventurous at this stage. The danger is, of course, that with every attack, Brazil are capable of scoring goals. It's given Egypt some hope though they've had their problems already there without their first choice goalkeeper Ayman Nassif fortunately Abdul Qadir is none the worse for the collision with the goalpost although he is limping and he's struggling to get back here to get to Manuel Tobias shoot on sight is the policy you know that last goal it, it was almost worth two because it was so nearly a Brazilian goal at the other end to make it what would have been 3-0 then on the counter attack the Egyptians were able to score and they've pulled it back to 2-1, so it was almost a two-goal turnaround. Lanicio trying to wriggle play still with Lanicio. Egypt have the kick in. Great entertainment already. Abdel Kader, Schumacher just muscling him off the ball. Here's Fininho. Manuel Tobias. Lenicio up in support, Schumacher also there. Here is Lenicio. Manuel Tobias! Oh! Thunderous effort from Manuel Tobias. Hammers the ball against the crossbar. It's so difficult to defend against that. You've got a player like Lenicio with his back against the, uh, the goal. And now, what's happening here? We've, uh, we've got a problem, have we? Because... Uh, the crossbar is bent, is it? The second official just coming out there to, to check with the timekeeper. Adrian Tamplin, the, the second referee from Australia, just indicating there that repair work is necessary. Well, it was a, a thumping shot by Manuel Tobias, and now we're going to have a delay because the clock has been stopped. And the stadium staff will have to be called to, to try and straighten the goal frame. I wonder if they've got a spare. Well, I thought for a moment, how would you like to be the ball when you're on the end of Manuel Tobias' boot, but it's just as bad being the crossbar. He's a lethal player. The officials are now satisfied that uh, the goal is in the right place. At least the crossbar didn't break, but it is a consideration. Handball in there, surely by Schumacher. I wonder if they've got a spare set. Even though there's a net protecting the spectators behind the goal, 
wouldn't like to be sitting in that area at the moment. Kanawi. Abdu. Good covering there by Linicio, feature of the Brazilian play. So good going forward, but they're prepared to help out, prepared to chase back, prepared to deny the opposition the opportunity to create too much damage in front of goal. Abdu just trying to work the ball through towards Abdel Qadir. First foul of the game. Fernino. Manuel to be as ahead of him, as is Lenicia. Here come Egypt. Great running by Abdel Qadir. Good trickery by Abdel Qadir. And guess who's back to get the ball out of play? Yes, Manuel Tobias. Bit of a shake of the head, too, as if to say, we got ourselves into a bit of a bind then. Kanawi. Ball has gone out for a kick into Brazil. Seven and a half thousand in this stadium. And Brazil guilty of giving the ball away far too easily. Abdel Qadir trying to create an opening. Opening denied him. Desperate defending there by Fininho. And an easy catch for La Boussier. Here's Schumacher. Lenicio out free if he can find him, and he has found him. Manuel Tobias just ahead of him. Lenicio skipping one way, then the other. Here's Schumacher. Everybody forward here for Brazil. Lenicio. Now Fininho. Schumacher, really powerful player, uh, Schumacher. Fernino, straight at Yasser Mohamed. Egypt with the opportunity to come back at Brazil now with Abdel Qadir. Shrugged off the ball there so easily by Schumacher. And that is rested just behind the goal. And there was a, a shout of complaint there from Morsi Kanawi, who thought that he'd been fouled by Schumacher, but. Schumacher has shown throughout this tournament that uh, he's not the sort of player to be messed with. Rock solid at the back for Brazil. And very impressive coming forward. Manuel Tobias. Oh, no penalty. Oh, well, it was a spectacular foul and it didn't sway the official on the near side. It was Adrian Tampa. And what about this for a run? Arafa Saeed mounting the counter attack for. Egypt. Well, we've seen one impressive performance already this afternoon. We've seen Russia defeating Argentina 7-1. Argentina paying the price, really, for their indiscipline, particularly in the second half, when they conceded a penalty and several uh, penalties from the 10 meter mark. But here, both sides playing with a bit more discipline. Great start for Brazil. Egypt have recovered well. They've scored a goal. They've tightened things up in defence. They need to keep possession, and they've got possession at the moment. Hoisted forward by Kanawi. Abdul Qadir just unable to keep the ball in play. Well, this is the moment when Brazil felt that they were deserving a penalty, and the referee got it right. Adrian Templin there was not swayed by the dive of Manuel Tobias, and it's Tobias on the ball here, and it's Tobias who has won the corner kick for Brazil. He's not the most popular man in the stadium now because the crowd were perhaps aware that he had taken a, a rather theatrical tumble. Manuel Tobias, great vision. Schumacher. Now Lenicio. Fernino! Shot just uh, deflected to safety there for Egypt. Sai picking out his goalkeeper with the header. came off for Manuel Tobias. The great thing about the Brazilians, Mike, is the fact that they're brilliant going forward, but when the opposition have possession, they close down the back markers. They, they never really give anybody any time on the ball. Look at that, Tobias denying uh, Egypt the opportunity to get forward. Maybe they'll be able to get forward now with Kanawi. Lenicio to make the block. I guess you admire that about such a talented side because so often they don't need to do too much defending. They are such an attacking side. They score the goals themselves, but it really is a sign of an outstanding team when they can do it at both ends. Interesting there that Atiyah was was just making the point to Abdul Qadir that 
he wanted to raise the tempo. Let's take the game to Brazil now. Let's make it difficult for them. Abdu. Nicely done by Abdu. Mohamed Mahmoud. Egypt with the bulk of the possession. Brazil leading 2-1. It's been a very good first half. Matia shrugged off the ball. Manuel Tobias. Audacious work by Tobias. So nonchalantly done. There's an arrogance about his play at times, Manuel Tobias, but he knows that he's good. He knows that he's the best in the world. Leading scorer in 96 with 14 goals. So far at these championships, he's got nine. His expectations are so high that he was disappointed he didn't make that shot, and it, it was a very difficult shot. Nobody could be expected to get it, but uh, he was disappointed that he missed. Abdu. Abdu has continued his forwards run. Atia, who's trying to get more of the ball in, in the middle of the, the pitch for Egypt. more balance about Egypt now four players are out there are playing well together it's been a very good performance by Egypt when you think of the start that Brazil made they were attacking non-stop finally the goal came in the third minute to Linicio another one 60 seconds later and one wondered how many goals they would score not only in the match but even in the first half it seemed to open the floodgates but Egypt have responded very well attempts on goal so far for Brazil compared to four for Egypt 12 of those on target and here comes Schumacher Manuel Tobias great thinking by Schumacher Tobias gets his 10th goal in the championship he got the goal Schumacher deserves all the credit though he could have shot himself but he saw Tobias charging into the D and he was selfish or unselfish enough rather to uh, to pick him out could have easily shot, but Tobias there, well placed to put the ball in the back of the net. It's 3-1 now to Brazil. And perhaps I spoke too soon. There's still a long way to go in this half. In fact, we're midway through the first half now. And three goals on the board to Brazil. Nonetheless, Egypt had settled. They, they were doing a, a good job, but my word. Brazil are threatening. Lenicio. Brazil here have the kick in. There was Schumacher just squaring the ball across the, the dive of Yasser Mohamed. And selfish work by Schumacher. Schumacher on the ball here. Manuel Tobias, he's got in behind Mohamed. Arafa Sai just trying to release Sabri Abdu. Egypt given some hope when they pulled that goal back. A goal scored by... Abdu. Now they trail once more by two goals. Fininho. Good goalkeeping by Yasser Mohamed there to, to get out and to deny Schumacher the opportunity. Fininho. Here comes Manuel Tobias. Angle of the pass wasn't quite right for him. Arafa Saeed. He's done well to win a corner here for Egypt. Wasted opportunity, really, that for Egypt, having won the corner. Arafa Saeed tried to be a bit too clever and pick out Sabri Abdu on the far side. Mahmoud Mohamed. Kanawi. Arafa Saeed. Mahmoud Mohamed to take on Manuel Tobias. Kanawi. Manuel Tobias getting across to put Said under pressure. And that persistent application of pressure has, has brought its reward because Egypt have given the ball away far too easily. Egypt with the opportunity to build again now with 
Sabri Abdu. Good work by Yusuf Mohamed. Just able to wriggle clear from Schumacher. Nice exchange of positions here by Egypt. They're, they're moving around with, with uh, and, and trying to introduce a bit more flexibility into their play. Kanawi. Abdu. Kanawi continuing the run forward. Yusuf Mohamed on the edge of the deep. Egypt have the kick in. Egypt who beat Morocco, Libya and South Africa in qualifying. They actually beat South Africa 18-2. Very impressive performance. Not as impressive though as the Brazilians against Guatemala in these world championships. Oh, and that was a lazy pass by Yusuf Mohamed. Here's Schumacher. No foul. I thought he was obstructed there. He ran straight into Sabri Abdu. Nothing given. Yusuf Mohamed now, confronted by Manuel Tobias. Again, Egypt trying to change the options, just trying to move the front two around behind the, the last line of Brazilian defence. But here come Brazil again, it's Schumacher now, it's four, and it's beginning to get easy. Yes, the goal's coming at a rapid rate. Beautiful passing around. Injo was a key man in that one, getting the ball through the middle. And then Manuel Tobias getting over to Schumacher. And Schumacher, well, if you try to stop one Brazilian player, another one will come in. 4-1 the scoreline now. There are just too many stars. Egypt trying to press the game forward, but as they come forward, they're always going to leave gaps in defence. Oh, magnificent save by Yasser Mohamed. What a shot that was from Indu. Having just come on as a substitute there, Indu really had a, a bit of sting in that shot, which uh, the keeper said, well, Schumacher now. Six goals in these championships. Not bad for a player regarded as a, as a defensive um, option in, in futsal. And Schumacher taking guard here on the end, edge of the D for Brazil. Strong challenge by Manuel Tobias. And here's to be a set free by Schumacher. Indu just ahead of him. Egypt wrestle possession back. Yusuf Mohamed unable to keep the ball in play though. We spoke about the qualifying performances by this Egyptian side. As far as Brazil's concerned, soccer, and in this case futsal, it is second nature to just about everyone in Brazil. And so many youngsters are playing, so many registered players. And here's the last goal, Manuel Tobias. He's always in a position, it seems, to, to free somebody inside the D. They do make good angles for each other, the Brazilians. They play with, with great pace and power. They have great skill on the ball, but they also perform as a team. It's not about individuals, it's about the team effort. Kicking here to Egypt. The ball actually went out off the referee, but it was Schumacher who kicked it at the referee. There's something like 200,000 regist registered players in Brazil. Huge sport there, 74,000 juniors, 2,000 teams. And Egypt have to compete with that sort of might. It's very, very difficult. In fact, for the last World Championships, there are only five teams trying to qualify through the African region. It was difficult to find a host nation. And uh, finally, it was Egypt who put their hands up and held those qualifiers in Cairo. So they don't come from a very strong background and certainly nothing to compare with Brazil who, as I mentioned, it's just in their blood. And this is going to be a big day for Egypt. Egypt overquitted themselves in these championships. Unlucky against the Netherlands, losing 5-3 after dominating the first half. Somehow they went in a half-time four down. They beat Thailand, they beat Uruguay 4-2. That was a very good performance. Nice trickery from Youssef Mohamed. That was agonizingly close to the base of the post. It will be a corner kick, this to Egypt, although Lavuissi, the goalkeeper, is suggesting that it might be a, a throw-in from the goalkeeper. Yusuf Mohamed. Abdu. Now Abdullah. And the 
Robinson, and then Indu trying to put Abdu under pressure. And Abdu, in the end, is forced into making the error. Brazil have the kick in. Here's a first touch for Juan, who's just come on as a substitute. Rolling substitutions in futsal. Schumacher, Juan just ahead of him, as is Manuel Tobias. Indu. Here come Egypt again with Arafa Saeed. Oh, great trickery there, great close control as well by Wail Abdullah, and he's given the ball away. Just couldn't create the opening for him there. He was there on the edge of the D, and he just needed to apply a, a telling pass or a finish. Oh, oh that must have hurt Lavoisia. They do have great skill going forward, great ball skills, the Egyptians. As you mentioned, it's just the defensive part of their game where they leave themselves a little open. Just under four minutes of the first half remaining. Schumacher now is the only outfield player there for Brazil who was on at the start. They've started to make one or two substitutions. Fernandinho, Vinicio and Manuel Tobias all taking a well-earned rest. And that was Anderson shooting wide. Took a deflection. This will be a kick into Brazil. Indu on the edge of the D. Anderson trying to make an angle for Yuan. Here's Schumacher. Juwan. Abdullah to bring the ball clear for Egypt. Hasn't been as easy as some might have expected it to have been for Brazil. This the opening game for them in the second phase of the championships. Nice work there by Arafa Saeed. Have to challenge by Schumacher on Yusuf Mohamed. But again, Egypt have sended, surrendered possession rather a bit too easily. Andrea now, the skipper, getting his first taste of the action. Juwan. Here's Anderson. Vital interception that by Abdullah. Juwan and Indu. What speed of thought there from Indu. Right on the edge of the D. Got his bearings right though, was just able to scoop the ball over the goalkeeper, but also scooped it over the crossbar. Just by sheer knack, lack of uh, sheer numbers, attacking numbers, these goals are going to come for Brazil. Egypt, though, have the possession at the moment. Here's Atia. Now Abdullah. Andre to get a foot in, but. Egypt prepared to take the game to Brazil. Oh, agonizingly close for Arafa Saeed. Wonderful skill on the ball. It's been a feature of these championships. The Egyptians so comfortable when they've got the ball at their feet. The leading nation in Africa. And they're doing their best to make it difficult for Brazil. Arafa Saeed again. Did very well then to put the brakes on and to, to stop the ball for Abdullah. Tia and Abdullah, the two who are prepared to fetch and carry, it seems, in the middle of the field for Egypt. And a Saeed, the most advanced player here. Yusuf Mohammed now on the ball, confronted by Indu. And Tia, now Abdullah. Timeout is now called by Brazil. Just over a minute and a half of the first half remaining. Would be the, wouldn't be the toughest job in sport, would it, uh, to coach this Brazilian side? Takanina Vanda has obviously earned his stripes as captain of the last three World Championship winning teams, but my word, he 
He has some outstanding talent at his disposal. It's really just a matter of sending them out. And ultimately, the goals will come. The wins are on the board. And perhaps a fourth world championship. But there are some good teams still around. In fact, it gets tougher with every match they play. And in the other group, they will at some stage face Spain. And we're all looking forward to that. In fact, the Brazilians were here yesterday watching Spain with great interest. And I'm sure they were impressed with what they saw. Hindu. Good turn by Hindu. So strong as well when he's in possession. Great save by Yasser Mohamed to deny Joanne. Here he is again. Now Anderson. Indu. Holding the ball up and doing his best to release Anderson, but there's a chance again for Egypt to catch Brazil out on the counter-attack. They've got the kick in, but Abdul Qadir there, who was racing forward, had two players up with him in support. Atia was in there, so too was Abdullah. Same here, Atia on the ball here. Abdul Qadir. Another corner to Egypt. Solomon now on for Egypt. Here is Solomon. Canali. Good play here from Egypt. We're into the final minute of the first half. Brazil leading by four goals to one. Nader Solomon. Kanawi. Samir Atiyah. Saeed Abdul Qadir. One last opportunity maybe for Abdul Qadir to create something special for Egypt. Good finish to the first half by Egypt. Playing with a bit of pace. Playing with a bit of confidence. Brazil trying to walk out to the halfway line. Clock is ticking down. Might just be enough time for this kick to be taken. It's been very, very entertaining. Brazil started as though they intended to carry on where they finished against Guatemala last week in the first stage of these championships when they beat Guatemala 29-2. Two goals in quick succession for Lenicio and Fininho, but Sabri Abdu pulled a goal back for Egypt, and even though Manuel Tobias and Schumacher added two more at half-time here, Egypt certainly aren't out of it. It's Brazil 4, Egypt 1. Very impressive performance by the Brazilians, scoring three times in the first nine minutes. And one wondered what was going to become of Egypt, but full credit to Egypt because they have hung in there. They've not renowned for their defensive qualities, but they have defended very, very well. In fact, allowing just one goal in after that ninth minute mark, and that, of course, came from Schumacher. 24 attempts at goal as opposed to nine. And uh, as I mentioned, weight of numbers, Brazil will keep on scoring. But only 39% of the ball, Egypt 61%. That is a remarkable statistic, but Brazil...これについてはですね、やはり3つぐらいなポイントがあるのかと思います。で、その1つはまずハーフウェイラインを超えてゴールキーパーがボールを投げていい。これまではハーフウェイラインを超えてゴールキーパーはボールを投げることができませんでした
まあ大体そうなんですけどもこのピッチを全て広く使うことができるんじゃないかと2つ目のポイントです。自由なな交代とというものがより進められることになりました今まではボールがインプレー中に自由に交代できるのはフィールドプレーヤーだけだったんですねでこれがゴールキーパーも含められるということになりましたフットサルでは4秒ルールというものが適用されて何でもこう早く早く観客や選手を飽きさせないような速いプレーが求められてますねでゴールキーパーの交代についてもまあボールがインプレー中にやっていいよと。いいうこととがあると思いますでこれはですね、えー、フィールドプレーヤーがゴールキーパーのユニフォームを着て、えー、ピッチに立って5人でプレーをするもちろんそのゴールキーパーとしての資質が、まあ、能力というものが高くないんで、えー、リスクではあると思うんですけども逆に言うと攻撃的になるとこういうことがこういうプレーができるようになったということがあると思います。もう一つ、まあ、三つ目となると思いますけれども、これまで、えー、反則を一チーム六つー重ねると、第二 PK ペナルティーマークからあー壁がないゴールキーパーと一対一のフリーキックが与えられました。で、この距離がこれまではじゴールラインから十二メートルのところでした。しかしながらこ,この今年の改正でゴールラインから10メートルのところになりました。まあ、10メートルというとやはり、えー、そこから壁がなくてゴールキーパーと一対一であればあ非常に得点のチャンスが生まれると思います。まあ、これは得点のチャンスを増やすということでもあるんですけれども、やはり反則をより少なくしようと、えー、まあ、フットサルというのはサッカーのそのエッセンスをのようなゲームです。えー、反則をなるべく少なくしてフェアプレーにに徹して行ってくださいというようなところなのかと思います。日本フサル連盟はですね、本年今まで二十数年歴史の中で初めてあの改正再編という形で取ってもらい取らせていただきまして、全国の地域に。の代表の理事を入れていただいて、それで各地域にまで全国展開ができるようにという組織を開編しました。その中で日本サル連盟がこれからやらなきゃいけないこととかということが自然と出てきたわけですけど、その中でやっぱり一番大事なことはリーグ戦を各地域でやっていただこうということに決めましてですね、各地域にできるだけ早い時期にリーグ戦を展開していただいて、それでその。トータルの中でその上には日本を代表するリーグが将来的にできればというのが目標にですね、えー、競技性の一つはそれがありますそれからもう一つは、えー、普及ということではあのサッカーのファミリーがたくさん増えるように、えー、我々の中で、えー、いつでもどこでも誰でもという,う理念のもとにですね、えー、多くの方がサッカーを愛しそれでフツサルの愛好者になっていただいてですねサッカーファミリーを拡大していくというのがまあ一つの狙いであります Welcome back from me, Tony Jones, alongside Mike McCann. We're watching the Group E game here in the second phase of the fourth FIFA Futsal World Championship. It's Brazil, the three times world champions, who are leading Egypt by four goals to one. An impressive opening by Brazil. Egypt then pulled the goal back. But Manuel Tobias and Schumacher added further goals for the Brazilians, who perhaps didn't have the same fluency which they showed against Guatemala in the first stage when they, they won by 29 goals to two. Having said that, Egypt, a very different proposition and a useful first half from Egypt, Mike. Yes, they've proven they can get the ball. 61% possession is, is quite an incredible statistic. Now they just have to make the most of it, do something with the ball. And significantly at the start of the second half, they've brought on their skipper. 
Tamer Ismail. It's the first time we've seen him in the game since uh, before the kickoff when he when he came out to uh, exchange pleasantries with his opposite number, Andrea. And they're immediately in direct confrontation now on the pitch here at the second half. It's one of only a couple of the Egyptian players who were part of the 96 campaign. So they're starting afresh. Largely the sport is played uh, outdoor sport, outdoor soccer in uh, Egypt. And they're only really starting to specialise. Really the top teams do specialise, certainly the Brazilians do that. It's an art form in itself, the indoor game. Having said that, Egypt do have some very skillful players. I was astonished that they went in at half-time against the Netherlands, trailing by four goals to nil. They had all the possession, they created so many chances, they played some some rich flowing football they couldn't take their chances though and repeatedly with it caught on the counter-attack by the Dutch. Indu now for Brazil. Closely watched by Sabri Abdu. And Brazil have given the ball away this time. Oh magnificent save by Abuse. Now he was right on the edge of the deep. For two minutes now, Brazil reduced to four men. Lavaricia is sent off. Well, it had to be desperate. Quick thinking here by Tema Ismail. Brazil perhaps not at the sharpest at the start of the second half. It was right on the very edge. They've taken off an outfield player. They've uh, brought on a reserve goalkeeper here, Brazil. Oh, it's back at the post and out. Rogerio, the goalkeeper there, just, I think, managed to get part of his body to the ball. So Brazil, for two minutes, or until Egypt score, are reduced to four men. But what a start we've had to the second half. Here comes Manuel Tobias, though. Oh, that was nasty, was it? Well, there was a, certainly they, they wrapped their, their feet around each other there, but players allowed to continue. Sabri Abdu, it was, who uh, got in the challenge. An eventful start to the second half. Sabre Abdu. Oh. Shot was over the top of the crossbar there and uh, indicating well, the, the official here, the third official here, is uh, is having words with one of the substitutes, one of the Egyptian substitutes. That was, that was a great stop, actually, by uh, Ogerio. Sensational start to this second half. And still the Brazilians down a man. Well, hang on, Mike. There's, there's a yellow card here being issued on the touchline. Musik Kanawi is the player who, who has been cautioned, presumably for something he said to the third official who was who was uh, called over or called Adrian Tamplin over, the uh, the man who's taking charge of the match alongside Pedri Gautier. Yellow card for Musik Kanawi. Lavarissia, the Brazilian goalkeeper, off, sent off. And the uh, yellow card is going to be out again here. Sabri Abdu is the player about to be cautioned. The players really have to settle down here from both sides. Things are getting a little silly at the start of this second half. Only two minutes into the second half. Brazil down a man, and Egypt really have to make the most of this. They don't have all that much time remaining. They have to do everything in their powers to try to capitalise and get a goal. Rogerio, the goalkeeper, coming way out of his goal. Andrea on the ball now. Quickly taken, kicking. Arafa Saeed. Now Sabri Abdu. It's Tobias who took the sting out of the shot. Brave goalkeeping there by Yasser Mohamed. Egypt attack again. Oh, they've given the ball away, and it's two against one here. Here's Manuel Tobias. There it is again. They're hot tonight. It's Anderson this time. Having the extra player doesn't always work. 
It just takes a clean breakaway. Sometimes so much emphasis can go into attack, trying to get that goal with the extra man that you can leave yourself open. And once again, Brazil on that clean break, two on one, and they were able to get their fifth goal. 5-1 to Brazil. 5-1 to Brazil. Is there any team capable of stopping them in these fourth Futsal World Championship? Side here with the kick in for Egypt. Egypt facing four man and they've got a goal. It's Arifa Saeed. Brazil paying the penalty for just backing off there. Well, you sense though, you do sense that Brazil almost allowed them to score then. Because of course, now that Egypt have got a goal, Brazil are allowed to bring on their fifth player. It was a great finish by Arafa Saeed. Wonderful strike, really was a great strike. Now it's 5-2 to Brazil, and Brazil have been able to bring their extra man back on. As we mentioned earlier, the futsal when a player is sent off. There's a, a two-minute sin bin in effect. There will be no way for Labissia to come back into, into proceedings, but at least now Brazil have uh, been restored to five on the pitch, having conceded that goal. Of course, if they score themselves with only four, as they did through Anderson, that doesn't change things in terms of the numbers. It's only when their opponents score a goal or that two-minute period has expired. Now it's five on five. Abdu. Mahmoud Mohamed. Abdu again. Abdul Qadir. Came off Anderson for an Egyptian kick. Abdul Qadir once more. Arafa Saeed on the edge of the Brazilian dip. Good movement here from Egypt. Say dispossessed by Manuel Tobias. Oh, wonderful goal again by Manuel Tobias. He points to the heavens again. And it's been a heavenly show from Manuel Tobias and the Brazilians once more. There was a hefty challenge. Manuel Tobias so determined, so strong. And what a great strike that was. He's just too good, too good, Manuel Tobias, showing us once again why he's regarded as the best in the world. And here he comes again, there's an extra man spare, good goalkeeping. Oh, now he had to put the brakes on very quickly there, Yasser Mohamed. But again, he seemed to uh, to slip outside the, the D, but he released the ball very quickly. It's been an eventful second half this for the the second official the official on the near side adrian tamplin from australia who issued the red card to lavoisia because he handled outside the d yes mohammed though got away with it the egyptian number one Manuel Tobias, his 11th goal in these championships. He scored a hat-trick against Kazakhstan, a double hat-trick against Guatemala. Oh, what a miss! Andrea from two metres out. The Brazilian supporters went happy with that, they expect better from their skipper. Brazil play Argentina in their next game, and both those teams are going to be without their regular goalkeepers. Both set off today. The temperature inside, El Gamo is being raised. Brilliant support, and some of the supporters are rather banging the drum now. Sound the beat is ringing out. And they're on their way again, that was a magnificent...
decent stop by Yasamani. Stretching away to his right to divert the shot from Falcao to safety. Didn't see Falcao in the first half. Falcao managed three against uh, against Guatemala should have scored his first against Egypt here Arafa Saeed dispossessed and that was Falco's shot and here's Indu getting beyond Sabri Abdu just flipping his shot over the top of the crossbar Indu on the ball or oh, strong play by Indu and able to get him on the end of the pass from Manuel Tobias Clean ball work by the Brazilians. Such clean passing by Tobias, setting it up. Again, so close to another goal. Brazil raising the tempo. Manuel Tobias, Hindu just ahead of him. Have to challenge from behind by Sabri Abdu. Play allowed to continue. It's the senior official, Pelé Gautier. Gautier, who took charge of the, the world final in '96 when Brazil beat. Spain 6-4, Brazil three times winners. Canawi, Sabre Abdu, Tema Ismail, the skipper. Nice work by Ismail, he's done well to get in the shot. Well, really got him on the end of the rebound too. Nigeria found the initial effort too hot to hold. Very powerful player, Taylor Ismail. He was among the leading scorers back in 96 when he, when he scored four for Egypt. He's yet to score in these championships. And that was a fine save by Yasser Mohamed, who, like the skipper Ismail, was there in Spain in 96. Started the match and Banda. Well, somehow it stuck. Yasser Mohammed was uh, was close to seeing that ball skid under his under his legs. Egypt now adopting the more direct approach, trying to launch the ball upfield to release uh, the front player. At the moment is uh, Musi Kanawi. while he was warming up as a substitute, presumably for something he said to the third official. Sabre Adu. Tema Ismail. Strong running again. Ooh, that deflection could have uh, so easily deceived. Mosherio in goal there for Brazil. He was diving one way, the ball went the other off Andrea, the skipper. Another kick in 
here for Egypt. Kanawi. Tema is back. Sabri Abdi. Nice positive movement from Egypt. They trail by six goals to two. They really need another one here. Kanawi. by Manuel Tobias. Oh, fine skill there by Tamer Ismail. But Ismail has been dispossessed and it's Manuel Tobias who's leading the charge forward to try and get on the end of the uh, the movement from both uh, Falcao and from van der Falcao relishing the challenge. Manuel Tobias. Van der is out wide, trying to give Brazil a little bit of width here. Here is van der. Andrea just ahead of him, Manuel Tobias, fantastic movement here from Brazil. Shot was deflected, and Brazil have the corner kick. But what about this from Falca? Magnificent, just so easily getting away from the challenge, and then to check and to have a look, and then to do the little drag back, and then to come back inside. Playing with such confidence now, Brazil, and Falca, not one of their starting five. Here he is again. Oh, they've walked in another one. It's Van der. Seven now for Brazil. They're in sublime form. He's been there as a winning captain three times. Van der, the coach. Van der, the player, is making sure that maybe this time the man on the sidelines will end up as a winning coach as well. Falco, the provider. And an easy finish for Van der. 7-2 now to Brazil. Van der scoring for the seventh time in the tournament. Two against Kazakhstan, one against Portugal. A hat-trick against Guatemala. They just keep on coming. There may be another one here. Brazil coming again. Oh, the goal is allowed to stand, but surely there was a handball, and I can understand why the coaches have been led. Ooh. Manuel Tobias, there is some slight of hand. Understandably furious. On the pitch, I can see that from the stand. And the official, Adrian Tamplin, not Pedic out here, is issuing the yellow card there to the skipper. Taylor Ismail got that wrong. I'm sure we'll see here that Manuel Tobias used his hand there to, to steady himself. Well, the third official is now getting involved. It was. Uh, Tamer Ismail, who lost out there against Andrea. We've got a concentration going on down here between Adrian Tamplin, who's the second referee, and René Del Cid, who is the third official. And Egypt justifiably agreed. It's 8 2. The goal stands. Well, Brazil Manuel so Tobias. As we see it once again. Brazil so good, they really don't need any additional assistance. I always feel like you can always tell by the reaction of the players. And immediately then, Sabri Abdu, number 12, who was in confrontation with Manuel Tobias, indicated that it hit the hand. Usually if a player feels that he's in the wrong, he'll continue the chase, and when the ball's in the net, he'll complain. But there you could see immediately Sabri Abdu had made the point that Manuel Tobias used his hand. but it's 8-2 to Brazil. It's been a good game, it's also been a controversial game. Brazil having had their goalkeeper Lavoisia sent off at the start of the second half. Now we've had more controversy with Manuel Tobias scoring a goal, which we all thought should have been ruled out. Egypt certainly thought it should have been ruled out for handball. It's now 8-2, no way back for Egypt. Now there's no doubt about that. It was a brave effort by them in the first half, conceding two early goals, but pulling a goal back from Sabre Abdu. 2-1, they had some hope, but after that, Brazil just got stronger and stronger. Brazil against good opposition, very impressive. Meanwhile, one can only speculate as to how many goals Manuel Tobias may end up with in a week's time. He has now 12 goals in the championship, 14 goals his tally at the last world titles when he was the most valuable player and, of course, the leading goal scorer. I mean, he could 
double this figure. He is in such rare form. He is getting better all the time, Manuel Tobias, at 29 years of age. His Falco's impressed in the short time he's been on in this second half. Now Manuel Tobias confronted by Ihab Said. Chance for Egypt here. It's three against three. Kanawi. Combined efforts of Falcao and Manuel Tobias get the, the ball into touch. Egypt have the kick in. We're inside, well inside the last 10 minutes of this game. Opening fixture for both these teams in the second phase of FIFA Futsal 2000. The fourth World Championship. Nigeria, the number two goalkeeper for Brazil. Brazil having lost La Boisia for a handball just outside the D. Vanda with a shot that skimmed wide. Well, the score was 4 1 at half time. We've had not quite 12 minutes of the second half and we've doubled that up to 8 2. Anderson to Beers, Vander, then to Beers again, scoring more goals. Egypt adding one themselves. But this really is becoming quite a huge score and a very big defeat against Egypt. Sabreapi. Adafa Saeed sense now that Brazil feel as though they've done their job. They're, they're happy just to sit back, but they, they're so incisive when they, when they get the ball and they break forward quickly. Egypt know that they can't afford any mistakes. This to be a damage limitation exercise for them now. But they'll have learned from the experience. Oh, that was a great chance again for Egypt. Yusuf Mohammed just nudging the pass forward towards Ihab Said. Falcao. Almir is now getting a run out for Brazil. Schumacher. Schumacher has been very impressive throughout these championships. Forty attempts on goal now for Brazil, and here they come again. Oh, he squeezed it in somehow, Falcão. Yasser Mohamed there, deceived all those quick feet. See him, any right for him to score from there, but he still managed it. Falco, not one of the starting five. Very, very impressive. 9 2 it is now. No backlift at all. Just uh, poked the ball straight through Arafa Saeed's legs. shoot himself there, he also had Arafa Saeed ahead of him, he had Ihab Saeed ahead of him. It wasn't really a shot or a, a pass that. Here can Brazil again. Vanda. Spin away from their marker so easily. Falco now with his fifth goal of the championships. Undoubtedly will be disappointed with this the, as the score grows and threatening to continue to grow, but very good learning experience. They didn't make it this far in the last World Championships. In fact, four new quarter-final teams here from those in 96. Portugal, Croatia, Egypt, Argentina, replacing Italy, Belgium, Ukraine and Uruguay. Great to see them. Talent being spread around, every team getting their opportunity at this level. Frustration there as uh, Sabri Abdu brings himself back to his feet. No nonsense defending from Schumacher. Just to recap on the goal scorers here for Brazil three for Manuel Tobias. Must have been shared around. Anderson, Fininho, Schumacher, Lenicio, Falcao, and Banda. Adafa Saeed and Sabre Abdu on target for Egypt. Oh, delightfully 
done by Falco. Just able to whisk the ball away from Saeed Abdul Qadir. Arif Saeed just suggesting there that there should be a bit more communication here amongst the Egyptian players. Falca. Now Schumacher. Falca once more. Vander trying to make an angle for him. Here is Vander. Good turn by Vander. Terrific skill by Vander. Good save as well by Yasser Mohamed. It's been a dogged performance in defence this by Egypt. Schumacher. Now Almir. Vander, who does some of his best work with his back to goal. Fisted clear by Yasser Mohamed. And it's that man Schumacher across to to get the block in to deny Saeed Abdel Qadir as Egypt threatened to counter-attack quickly. Inside the last five minutes. Arif Saeed. Abdel Qadir on the edge of the Brazilian D. Still happy to let Egypt have possession when they're inside their, their own half. Now there's a bit more urgency about their attempts to, to get the ball to safety. Points there from Yad Sahid, who felt that the challenge from Schumacher was a bit too uh, sharp. of himself on the edge of the Egyptian dig, closely marked by Arafa Saeed. Oh, this is impudent stuff. Well, Manuel Tobias is the man of the moment, regarded as the best in the world, but you have to say that Falca, the age of 23, is, is making a big impression in these championships. Wonderful skill. Scored three in the game against Guatemala. Also on target in that opening game, the 12 1 defeat of Kazakhstan. Vanda, whistle had gone. Brazil have the free kick close to the edge of the Egyptian D. Arigatia, the senior official, just suggesting there that Arafa Saeed was doing some holding. Vanda is now taking up a position inside the, the D. He's pulled away from the middle now. He was standing right in front of Yasser Mohamed, the goalkeeper. What can Brazil conjure up here? Falco well placed. Schumacher perhaps to, to blast it. Almir is unmarked. Well, Egypt here have uh, got to recover somehow. Oh, another goal for Brazil, another goal for Bando. You sensed it was always coming. Poorly defended that. Egypt there. Masters of their own downfall. It's up to ten. It's up to ten, and what's more, that's 39 goals in two games. That's right, 39 goals in two games. There's the scoreline here, 10-2, Brazil against Egypt. And Vander really is making his presence felt out there, and this is the strength of the Brazilian team. One of the many strengths of the team is that... that they can call upon all 14 players. They'll all go out there and, and do a very damaging job. It's Vander, the score of that 10th uh, goal, who's on the ball here, quickly taken. Oh, wonderful finish. What a player this man is, Schumacher. But you can go right through the team and pick them out. That went like a rocket beyond Yasser Mohamed. Quickly taken, kicking. Again, Egypt paying for a lapse in concentration. They defended a free kick badly. There they defended a kick in badly, and they were immediately punished. Brilliant finish from Schumacher. That really flew in. Now it's up to 11. Schumacher across to get the challenge in. Well, it's all right having the players with flair in there, but you need a bit of muscle in defence, and Schumacher certainly gives Brazil that. Good work by Atia. 
another solid challenge and here can Brazil once more with Falcao oh how did he recover there virtuoso performance this in the second half from Falcao but back again comes Egypt Schumacher stands firm oh and a double save there Rogerio getting down sharply and he had some assistance from Falcao well they get forward quickly they also get back quickly Brazil great entertainment again Schumacher seven goals now at these championships one of my players at the championship surely Tamer is back and now they're going to go back brilliantly done this time by Egypt Samir Atira has got the goal brilliant approach play and checks all around because that was superbly done by Egypt they deserve some reward. Vision from Ismail. And it was a tear who played the return pass to get their third goal. So well worked this. Nice little layoff there by Sabri Abdu. And Samir Atia makes it now Brazil 11, Egypt 3. Yes, that was beautifully worked. And full credit to Egypt because you just sense that they were becoming very demoralized with this Brazilian domination. They started with so much. Boyants. They were keen to get involved in the first half. They played very well. They held the Brazilians after conceding some early goals. But as this second half has gone on, they did seem to be dropping their heads a little, but that was very good. Excellent goal. Well, coming forward, Egypt have impressed throughout these championships, particularly in their opening game against the Netherlands different it might have been had they won that particular game that all the possession but they could do nothing with it the court time and time again by the Dutch on the counter-attack and indeed van der as the uh, Brazilian coaches has worked that one out as well and here come Brazil again oh, van der off the post this time incisive break van der there combining well with Almir lucky let off there for Egypt and Yasser Mohamed the goalkeeper less than two minutes to play Ismail has given the ball away, here's Van der Hoof. The footwork is so quick, it's brilliant to watch, brilliant to watch this. Van der Der denied with a shot that actually took a deflection against the post. Four by Tamer Ismail. Van der back to cover. by Spain yesterday but I'm sure everyone here is very impressed by Brazil and once again the three-time world champions proving that they are still very much the favorites to make it four in a row incredibly four world championships maybe all Brazil Tamer is back that was a sliding challenge you're not allowed to do that in futsal and there it was he dived in He's 32 now, Tamer Ismaili got four goals at the, the championships four years ago. These championships surely will be his, his swan song at international level. And Anafase just hammering that shot inches wide of the post. Rogerio has been on for Brazil for much of the second half. Mabuissi the first choice having been, been sent off trying to, to deal with a, a long lob from Tamer Ismail. The, Egyptian skipper. Banda dispossessed by Arafa Saeed. Same Aratia. Abdu ahead of him. Good covering by Almir. Egypt very purposeful when they come forward. 30 seconds remain now. Egypt at the corner. But here come Brazil, it's three against one. The charge has been led by Schumacher. Great defending by Tamer Ismail. Three against one. Now for Egypt. And he's got it. The skipper has scored it. Tamer Ismail. And the whole stadium is on its feet. It's been fast, it's been flowing, it's been end to end. And what brilliant work there by Tamer Ismail. Possess Schumacher, 
and then to play the return pass with Seymour at here. It's now 11 4, but Brazil got another one. Falco! Magnificent entertainment. Second goal for Falco. You can't take your eyes off it for a moment. It's been a brilliant performance from Falco. Virtuoso show by him in the second half. Look at those skills. A to get the ball away and then to beat the goalkeeper. 12 4 now, Brazil lead. And that's it. Brilliant stuff. Absolutely outstanding again. And who will stop that man's team now? Ayakuni Abanda, three times a winner as captain. Now he's leading this brilliant side towards the semi-finals and surely the final as well. Staggering performance from Brazil. They have a Guatemala 29-2. Here they're against a much better side. The stadium is on its feet. They have to stand and applaud this. Here in Group E, it's finished. Brazil 12, Egypt 4, the champions on their way to the semi-finals. Outstanding performance by the Brazilians, we come to expect it, but even by their own standards, they have excelled here this evening. Wonderful effort by the Brazilians. 12-4 after it was 4-1 at half-time, so an eight goals to three second half, with a red card as well. We had plenty of action, the fans have been treated. Let's have a look at the match facts then. Brazil, 50 attempts, 36 on target, 25 for Egypt, 18 on target. Egypt had more corners, fouls were shared around. Egypt, three yellow cards, though, including one for Canali when he was off the pitch for disputing a decision. And Egypt, look at that, 61% of the possession. Brazil, though, with 12 goals. Perhaps of the French pro or Falcao. Look at the score then, Group E, Brazil 12, Egypt 4, we can now check on the Group E table. One game played today for the teams in that uh, particular group. Brazil on top of the group, goal difference now of plus 8. Russia second, a goal difference of plus 6 after their 7-1 win over Argentina. It looks good now for the semi-finals for Brazil and the Russians.